tell us about it. Well, that's right, Hallie. It did start off uh, on the gloomier side for today, but we did end up seeing some sunshine coming out, especially for some of our western counties. But overall, it wasn't just a completely overcast day, but there was a good bit of cloud cover that did stick around throughout our day, and we're still seeing some of that lingering through tonight. As far as weather headlines, you may have noticed it is a little bit stickier outside, especially tonight and as we continue into tomorrow and into the upcoming work week. That will give way to a small chance for rainfall as we head through each of the upcoming days for the upcoming week. And we're also talking about some much warmer temperatures moving in, especially by Monday, sticking around through about Wednesday. As far as the Augusta Almanac, uh, we are looking at the Savannah River here, 13th Street Bridge from our North Augusta camera, and we did uh, definitely see those temperatures get up to at least the mid 70s for today, but still below average, almost 10 degrees there, and we started off just above that normal temperature of 56 degrees for today at Bushfield Airport. As far as current temperatures right now around the region, we, we are seeing those temperatures falling back towards the mid to low 60s, so a little bit of a cooler feel beginning to work into the region, but still feeling kind of mild with that humidity being elevated. Uh, you can definitely see some storms blowing up across Dallas and portions of uh, Texas, Oklahoma, crossing over towards Louisiana, Arkansas. Across our neck of the woods, though, we do still have a few low-level clouds across portions of the CSR race, so that's helping our temperatures uh, kind of stay where they are and not fall all too quickly. Most of us should be able to get down, though, towards the mid-50s at least by tomorrow morning, possibly a few low-50s, and if we hang on to enough cloud cover, some areas could stay closer to 60 by tomorrow morning. As far as high temperatures for tomorrow is going to be noticeably warmer. We're going to see those temperatures closer to average, that normal temperature, about 84. A mixture of clouds and sun, but we should see more sunshine for your Sunday in comparison to the amount of sun we saw today. And those temperatures again are going to be reaching towards the low to mid 80s. As far as expected rainfall heading through the upcoming work week, uh, we could be seeing those rainfall totals by about Thursday, Friday, getting close to an inch for some locations, but not expecting soaking rainfall every day this week. Uh, more of a summer-like pattern is a good way to compare this outlook for the upcoming week as far as some upper level disturbances moving through the Bermuda high really becoming prominent and pumping in some humidity for us across the area. And that's going to give us a chance for some isolated to widely scattered showers and storms just about each day, even for your Sunday. We should stay mostly dry, but as we head towards tomorrow night, possibly seeing an area or two see an isolated shower as we head later into your Sunday. But as far as the outlook, taking you through the hour by hour forecast and going through tomorrow, you can see a good bit of sunshine expected. We are expected to stay mostly dry, but maybe the chance for an isolated shower at some point throughout your day. Overnight into your Monday, though, we do keep those temperatures a little bit milder with cloud cover and humidity sticking around into your Monday morning, waking up possibly in the mid 60s for some areas, so above average there. And then we do continue to see our temperatures climbing close to 90 for some locations uh, by your Monday afternoon and seeing that chance for maybe a spotty shower really starting to pop up there as well. So we are going to keep that weather pattern unsettled, really beginning Monday all the way through next weekend and those temperatures approaching 90 for about three consecutive days. So that's some temperatures we haven't felt in a while. We do get back to more of a seasonal feel for Thursday and Friday, but those temperatures back towards the mid 80s with rain chances sticking around by Saturday.